Okay, hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. I thought I'd take a look at Anthony Fauci today. I mean, he's been on the news where he says that um, his lowest point during this pandemic is when public figures were denying and belittling the experts' opinions towards the importance of the easiest measures toward protection, and the, which were, of course, social distancing and mask wearing. So um, let's see how he's feeling now um, through the cards. Thanks. So we're going to use these uh, classic tarot cards. Uh, that I used earlier today, and if we need to uh, clarify anything, it'll be the Albano Weight Tarot. And uh, get these shuffled up and get this show on the road. It's been a beautiful day here in the Pacific Northwest. Sun came out and shone in the afternoon. I'm going to say we might have reached 50 today, but it was a um, it's a kind of 50 degrees that's when it's sunshiny and it's not too windy, that it's just really, really comfortable. Where I'm actually facing um, that way is a window that opens up onto a really beautiful country road that just winds up into uh, thick uh, uh, pines on either side. And it's a beautiful scene uh, anytime, whether it's uh, winter, spring, summer, or fall. But um, if you like snow, when it does get snowy, even though the road is treacherous and it's the only way in and out, um, it is beautiful to watch when it's all snowed and iced over. And uh, there's less traffic, of course. Sometimes it even gets closed off um, if, if because it's quite uh, an incline. Uh, I don't know what degree of grade it is. I think it might be 12%. It's a, it's a, it's a steep um, incline. But um, give this one more shuffle and then get right to it. Of course, we're going to talk about Dr. Anthony Fauci, who had such a low point. I mean, a lesser man would have just given up. But um, if others didn't feel the, um, the weight of the situation, he certainly did. And uh, this man is a hero. But anyway, uh, so we'll see how he's feeling today because he was so disappointed at one time. And I think that's going to be a good shuffle. We'll take six out of there. That's beautiful, as a matter of fact. So one, two, three, four. Five and six. Put these off to the side. If we need them, we'll use them in the end. Got six cards. We're dealing right down in the signifier card. Dr. Anthony Fauci, how are you feeling now? So the sun. That's great. That's amazing. So yeah, the, the sun is it, you know, what what more can you say? This this guy is happy. He's riding the white horse. He's sh shy, uh, waving a flag of victory, even though we're not victorious, but he certainly is victorious over the darkness that he had he had to ride through. The sun is shining brightly, enough said. Signifier for Anthony Fauci, how he's feeling right now, is the sun. That's really beautiful. The challenge though to the sun is the Knight of Pentacles. And uh, the Knight of Pentacles is a, um, he's a fierce opponent, i tell you the truth. Um, he's on a, st a sturdy steed and um, he's ready to fight. He's bringing this, gee whiz, it kind of looks like the, the virus, doesn't it? He's bringing this um, with some, um, you know, authority, sadly. Um, but we've got Dr. Anthony Fauci on our side, so no problem. The uh, base of this reading, then, is strength. And man, I mean, who could, who could have said it better? We have to have strength. And, and if someone uh, is feeling that right now after being rejuvenated, from the horrible situation he had to go through for uh, for the beginning of this pandemic to how it is now, it's with strength. And you have strength by taming the beast. And uh, this this fellow right here is a beast. And But this uh, gentle soul, this angel, has tamed this beast. The uh, recent past, then, is having to make a choice. And thank God for Anthony Fauci and the choice he made for us to stick it out. Uh, because it was a dark night. And it was uh, difficult to be there, blinded, uh, uh, obscured by all of the darkness, uh, barefoot, uh, alone in the wilderness, and uh, with two strong um, uh, tr uh, truth 
and justice as your only defense. And um, that was a brave son of a gun right there. The uh, In the sky, though, for this reading is the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords speaks to us. You know, he's like a, a, the white knight, you know, the, the guy who's going to come in and, and save you at the end. And this is what's in the sky. And this knight is, is wielding this uh, health, uh, this um, truth, this uh, justice uh, in his right hand. And he's, he's uh, urging this uh, amazing horse on forward. So, yeah, that's what's in the sky for Anthony Fauci. What else would be in the sky for Anthony Fauci? So the Knight of Swords It's beautiful. But in the in the near um, in the near future of this part of this uh, general uh, part of our friend Anthony Fauci is the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, that's wonderful. The Ten of Pentacles speaks to you know uh, being fruitful and 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 having achieved uh, what it is that you that you meant to set out that you set out to achieve. And um, so this happy family hopefully represents us in the future. We've got the elders, we have the mom and the dad, and we have the younger generation coming up. And all their all their responsibilities and all the uh, the strength that they built into their to their life in our future. So that's beautiful. Well, I can't wait to narrow this down to a more uh, definitive Anthony, Anthony Fauci. So the self, how is he right now? He's the Page of Pentacles. He feels like he's bringing forth uh, a solid value uh, to the court, and it's for us to do with it what we will. The public, you know, we have the the Page, the uh, Knight, the Queen, and the King. But beyond the king are the are the people of the land who are us, and we can take the king down and the queen and the knight, and we're left with the page who's just bringing us the value that he has to lay at our feet. The environment that that's in couldn't be more more precise. The devil, bad choices, not being responsible, not believing the science. Uh, tempted, tempted by uh, cheap pleasures uh, to uh, make uh, little of the um, disaster that he holds in his hand. Yeah, that's the environment that he's in, clearly. And then the hopes and the fears, we're at the Knight of Cups. And this is the knight who comes forth with a lot of passion and emotion. And if you could see his face, I don't know that you can. But if you could see his face, I mean, he's just very studious and uh, he's someone that you would want uh, to be concerned with your issue. And that's the hopes and the fears here. This night is coming forth next to a, a river of passion, an ocean of emotion, and uh, with a lot of help for us, uh, he's our biggest hope. And the final outcome for this reading, then, is the Five of Pentacles left out in the cold. And that's um, where so many of us are right now. So many of us right now. Some of us are, are comfortable, and we're waiting this out, and we're ordering in, and our lives are, are restricted, but we're certainly managing. Others are doing it hard. I mean, they're really struggling to get this done, uh, crippled by the um, injustice of, of what this dark, this cold darkness brings. You know, let's pull at least a couple of clarifier cards on that just to lighten the mood a little bit, because that was... Uh, that was pretty powerful. If, uh, I would have to say um, I don't disagree with those sentiments for our friend Mr. Anthony Fauci. But uh, we'll shuffle these up and just pull no more than three cards so if we, if we can clarify this Five of Pentacles being left out in the cold. And um, not to belittle that. I mean, if that's the final uh, outcome, it makes sense because we've already left, just in our country, over half a million people are gone disappeared. Their families, so many of them, are without any hope um, and scared to death that they might be next or just mourning the loss of someone who was so dear to them. So we we'll give this a good shuffle and they want to work. So I'm going to go ahead, cut the cards and and then uh, clarify this Five of Pentacles in regard to Dr. Anthony Fauci. This, could, this reading could not have been clearer. So the Five of Pentacles. First card up and again I always say that uh, if this seems well defined at any point during this three card draw, that's when we stop. If the second card does it, if the first card does it, or if we have to go all three, but no more. The first card up is the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is clear. He talks to us about truth and health and justice. And um, that's a big, strong uh, um, support for this Five of Pentacles, somehow. The next card up is going to be working together. We have to work together to get these things accomplished. Um, there's no doubt about it. And uh, we've moved out of the darkness and we're, we're into the light. Um, you can see right here, we had been in the darkness back here, but now 
here we've moved forward into the light. This is being brought forward so that the public can see it. You don't have to be um, go inside this temple into the darkness. No, this is on the outside with the cooperation of everyone around us. That's how we beat this dark night right here. And then the final uh, card for that is going to be, you know, it's just a difficult situation. It is, um, you know, a, a place where we have to stop and we're going to lose some people and we will lose more. But it's dangerous for us to get up, but we have to do so with the advice of our, of our healers and our scientists. So I don't know how much more clear that could be. Well, poor Anthony Fauci. He was our, our, our shining light. And he is, my goodness, that is a, uh, I can't find a place that's not glary for this card. You'll just have to trust me that that's the sun and that's where our Anthony Fauci is. He was challenged by the devil and still is, but he will be our sort of truth, health, and justice. <laughs> that's a pretty amazing, a pretty amazing reading right there. So, my name's Mark. This is my journey through tarot. Thank you so much for coming by. I'll be here tomorrow. Stop by again, but ciao for now. Thank you.